This week we'll be going over all of the achievements in Road 69. I mean, 96. This is a game where you play as a bunch of different teens trying to escape a fictional country, all while trying to influence the election that's going on. And now, let's get into it. The first thing we should mention here is that there is a collectible achievement in the game for finding all 18 of the audio cassettes throughout the game. Now the game is procedurally generated, but you should be able to get all 18 of the cassettes in one playthrough. You're gonna get random tapes at random points. Each of the scenes have spots where you can get tapes, but the tape that you get is going to be randomized, so it's kind of hard to say you'll get this tape over here because you could get any of them at any of the spots, depending on which scenes you actually get in the game. Cat person is for petting the cat in the trailer park. You'll do this in the first area you travel to on your journey. Once you walk into the trailer park, you'll be greeted by a lady with a cat in her lap. Just talk to her and eventually you'll get the option to pet the cat. Then in the same location, you'll get Road Pals for meeting Zoe for the first time. You'll help talk her out of an issue with the landlord, badly play some music with her, and then go separate ways in the morning. Meeting her is story related and you can't miss it. You can also get a light in the darkness for blowing on the fire when you're with Zoe before you start playing music with her. I didn't actually see the prompt for this on my first run, but I did see it on my second. For homesick, you'll need to call home. Once you come up to a random location with a phone booth, you can use the option to call home for $1. Also while at a phone booth, you can get campaign funder for donating money to an election campaign. You need to spend $1 to dial a number and then enter in either 96555 for Tyrac, or 96777 for Flores. You'll then get the option to donate $10 to whichever campaign, and in total you would need $11 to get this achievement. Almost there is for reaching Road 96 for the first time. This isn't too hard to get, and you'll have multiple tries to do this during a full game playthrough. One thing you can start working on once you get to Road 96 is Stone After Stone for adding three stones to the stack in the cave. After you reach Road 69, there will be a cave by a waterfall that all of the teens pass through on their way towards the border. On the left side of this cave, you can stack more stones on this tower, and after you stack a stone the third time, the achievement will pop. And then while on your third team, you're gonna have the opportunity to get help a friend for helping rescue Zoe from the police. Or at least trying to. Now you might be wondering why she would even be in this situation. Well, on your second teen story, Zoe is going to anger a cop and get arrested. So then at some point during your third teen's run, you're gonna come up to a gas station with Zoe sitting next to a police van and she'll ask you to help her. Just go around the left side of the building to go cut the power, either by using a skill to get into it or finding the key in the shed. Then once that's cut, the cops are gonna scatter from the table where they were, and you can sneak around on the other side to grab the cop's keys from that table to get Zoe out. Then on a later run with another scene, you'll end up meeting Zoe and crossing the border with her. You'll run through a few areas and eventually be presented with the choice between saving her or leaving her for the achievement, Hard Choice. Either option you choose will get you the achievement, you cannot miss this one. Next is Old Pro for getting to Road 96 six times. This means you can only be caught or die before reaching the border once in your full playthrough if you want to get this done in one run. Then Border Master is for discovering Petria's fate. This is what you'll get when you finally finish your 7th teen's run and you see a pretty long cutscene going through what all happens from the choices you made during the game. Wait, Papa Bear? Now, going back over to the last achievement, Collect Em All, you're going to need to collect 18 of the tape cassette collectibles in the game. So because the actual tapes that you get are randomized as you go through the game, I'm sure there are many more locations where you can find the tapes than the ones that I actually got them from. So just be sure to check around you as you go through each scene to make sure you get the one or two tapes that might be there. 
you may even be able to buy more tapes from people when you do the New Game Plus playthrough afterwards to help clean it up after. You may even be able to buy more tapes from people when you do your New Game Plus playthrough to help clean it up after. So I'll go ahead and list out the tapes that you'll need to find, and just remember if you end up missing some while you go through your first run, just go into New Game Plus, and you can clean them up that way pretty quickly. So we have Dance Machine, Hit the Road, Home Call, Jared is Around, Road 96, A Crazy Chase, The Brothers, Far From Home, Her Name Was Connie, Isthmus, Night Hope, The Mountain Peak, Ultimatum, Bella Chow Road 96, Alex the Hacker, Alex on the Road, Revolution 96, and The Road. After you pick up the last of the 18 tapes, you will then get the achievement. And with that, we have all 100% of the achievements in Road 96. We also have the community discord open, which you should all join and come chat about achievement hunting or just hang out with some people in the community. And of course, we have YouTube memberships now, so if you want to support the channel further, get access to custom emotes to use in the comments, and have your name featured in a credit section at the end of the videos, go ahead and join that now. And as always, if you liked the video or found it helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below with what games you'd like me to cover next.